All right. So what's the next question we got? <clears throat> All right. So this one comes from. I think Ka- I, I think Kalua it's, Kwame. I think, I think it was Kalua Kwame. Kalua. Kalua I was Kwame. trying to figure. All right, yeah. I guess it's not, listen. <laughs> that's what we call you. <laughs> KK. KK. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is his question or her. I don't know. But this is the person. It's, it's a dude. Okay. This is his question. <clears throat> Because we don't have no female listeners except for Jess. <laughs> now we got like three. Oh, we got three now? Th- that I know of. Oh, Jess, you got competition, dog. Nah, chill. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she like the main man. I yeah, know. Thought you were talking about black unification. We all got to come, come, come together. We do got to come together. Black people. Black yeah. women's. Yeah. <laughs> women's. Shout out to y'all queens. Shout out to queens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I got th- I, so I got this friend who was white that I have known for a while. He, He's cool and shit. However... As we got older, his political views are crazy. Like, this nigga loved Trump <laughs> on some wild shit. And he'd been posting some and sharing some racist jokes and shit. Now, he keep it uh, at a dull minimum in person, so that's cool. But he just be wilding. So, my question is, do any of you have a friend that you're cool with, like, but he an over-the-top Trump fan or a racist, and how do you handle it? <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, I ain't got no friends. Like, nah, I ain't got no friends like that. Openly racist. Let me... Actually, um... You got a story? <laughs> no, I don't got a story. Actually, no, I was thinking about that. I do got this one nigga that I'm friends with that I'm, I'm, I be like just questioning that nigga life because mm. he like, I don't know if he races. He, just, I just think he's just sad in life. <laughs> he, one, he's one of these like internet niggas. He like, he always mad. Every time I see that nigga posting something, he's always complaining about some shit. Mm. Always talking some shit, and and he'd be borderline like on that line of like. Yeah, you like almost at like that racist line. But yeah, you like not yeah. quite racist. Like if you'd have worded it like a little different, different you'd yeah, been, you yeah. might be a little yeah, racist, like, full blown racist. Yeah, because every like progressive <laughs> and like whatever person like people be talking about, like mm. he always got some negative shit to say about them and all this wild and shit. But I think he just don't like politicians, period. So he kind of like talks shit about other fucking politicians too. So I'm like, all right, but yeah, I just think he had that line. But like, I don't really fuck with him, fuck with him like that. So I, I'm I don't sweat it too much. But I'd be like. Nigga, why are you so angry though? Like, relax. <laughs> like every time I like open up my Facebook and if I scroll through and he posts something, it's he always complaining some, about something. something. He don't like women. He don't like Damn. fucking. He like nah, he one of them niggas. Like he's complaining about Captain Marvel and shit. Didn't even see the movie yet, but he's one of them niggas bitching about Captain Marvel and shit. <laughs> Didn't even watch the movie and no, oh, no, this ain't it. It's like it's like he just one of them niggas. He just want to complain about some shit. Well, I'm like, and he has friends on Facebook. I'm kind of surprised, but yeah. yeah. Do I so, have a friend I just ignore that nigga, so. that's wild racist? I don't have a friend that's racist. Uh, well, matter of fact, I'm lying. <laughs> I kind of got like some. All right, so put it like this, right? So I'm cool with a couple of white people, but I remember when Barack Obama was in office, they used to make certain comments. <laughs> Look at his ears. And, <laughs> no, not not even no, no funny <laughs> shit, but it was like. Like kind of like downplaying like like the the role he played as president and coming from a white person it didn't sit well with me so it kind of came off racist but I don't think they had any ill intent in saying it it was like them just giving their opinion on it but it came off as a little bit like you know do you really hate him because he's not doing a good job to in in your opinion or, or you hate him because black. he's just black and yeah. you just don't know what to say because you fuck black dudes and you <laughs> got you know black friends and shit I don't know but. How do you handle a racist friend? Snuff that that you've known a while. That's tough, B. I I mean, um, it depends on how how well you're friends with them. I think, like, if it's yeah. like your best friend in the world, then maybe you might have to have a conversation. If it's just some nigga that you kind of fuck with, sometimes yeah, you gotta cut niggas out your life a little if bit. It's, if it's some nigga that you grew up with, you just cool with that. That ain't like your like your day one, like your boy. Like you know, if you get in a fight, you gotta help him type shit. Yeah. I, I yeah, you gotta cut him off. Like it's. Yeah no room for racism and like especially if that's what you believe in if you feel like that you know when he's around you he keeps it to a dull minimum but when he gets out of your presence he's just this overbearing trump supporter build a wall fucking haitians is a, you know they got a shithole country and all this other <laughs> shit like yeah. if, if you really like think that being with if, if if you think your friendship is that strong that you can look past that shit you know by all means you know do what you gotta do but that shit wouldn't be in my circle i'll tell you that Sometimes you gotta check niggas too, like not and maybe check nigga ain't the right word, but like just you know it's like yo what's up, like like, like yeah like like have a talk like yo what yeah, up yeah what up yo bro? you good yo like I, I've like, been, you know I'm black right yeah like <laughs> so you know what you're saying like, it seems a little like are we cool yeah do you hate me yeah do you hate me on a low get these hands nigga yeah. <laughs> yo why are you handling racist friends though why yeah why would you that's not even a question why would you hit? I mean well because he's not he said, 100% he said, sure he, said he didn't grow up. 
he didn't grow up in his face races, so it was yeah. like we've been cool for mad long. Then all, then all of a sudden, you just got these got these beliefs that you just well, they vehemently want to. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cause, I mean, because just because just liking Trump doesn't necessarily automatically make you a racist. It makes you questionable in my eyes, but it doesn't necessarily make you all racist. Mm. Just because you can't. Now he said he, everybody. Together. Now he said that he be posting and sharing yeah. racist ass jokes. So yeah, it's like, that's. So that stuff so maybe you need to like yo what's up you might be that one black friend that he tell anybody <laughs> I, I he got friends i'm not racist like yeah like i'm not racist <laughs> I, know, I know uh kwame, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. kwame. <laughs> so you know i don't know man that like i said he wouldn't be my friend he wouldn't be in my circle that's not somebody i would uh associate with i would talk to him and see like yo what's up and, you know if y'all have a talk and you see where his views really lie then you gotta but like, dude, cut that shit off, man. Yeah, I gotta get an understanding. Yeah, you gotta yeah. see where he at, and if you feel like he's just actually racist and he's just or <clears throat> too far over that line, and sometimes you gotta be like, sometimes you just gotta cut niggas out your life that is fucking <laughs> not have, doing the right shit. Have you ever put somebody in the spot? All the time. Just just asking them like like anybody from a different race, like, yo, what's what's the deal, man? I mean, it depends on what the situation. <laughs> is. I, I've been fortunate. I don't think I've ever had to like do that to somebody like, yo, you racist, dog. Or whatever. No, not, not I that. mean, not just that, but you, just in general. You like, just ask them the hard questions. Yeah, I just like hearing them stutter. This is funny. Because <laughs> yeah, because sometimes I think. What are you people... doing for the Black Lives Matter movement? Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I think people just do shit and they don't. They're not really aware. Sometimes too. Yeah. Yeah. White people aren't really like very cognizant. I, I don't think they've had the privilege of like having to be cognizant of what they do and what they say because they keep themselves so close knit yeah. so much. So when they get around some other people of color. Or just like another person from like another background, they don't know. They think like how they act over here is how you can act over here, and that's yeah. never the case. Like um, you don't know your behavior is wrong until somebody points it out. Until, to you. until somebody <laughs> points yeah. it out, where it's like you can't be saying these words, you can't be saying this, that, and the third. And it's like, yo, kind of offended. Yeah, like mm-hmm. you know, and then you can't tell somebody what to be offended by. Like you didn't mean it like that, but I'm telling you, I'm offended. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was like like the word tranny. Like you can't say that shit. Like apparently that offends people. Yeah, and like I don't mean nothing by it. it's just like I've been saying it's, it's a shorter word for transgender. <laughs> like it's like I don't granny. You know yeah, what like, I mean? like, yeah, like <laughs> like <laughs> grandma, grandmother, yeah, granny. Yeah, yeah. But but you know you know what made me stop saying that? Like for real, it was actually a joke that Michael Shea said. <laughs> like he was on the thing. He oh, was like, yeah, Blackie. he was saying, he was, he, yeah. If I call you Blackie, yeah. You know He's saying, like, yeah. mm, touche. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, all right, you got a point. I get, but that. at the same I, time, like y'all gotta a stop. Yeah, it's a little different. Y'all gotta stop but. equating y'all struggle to the black struggle. It's not the same. Like, Relax. It's <laughs> not, but I'm not gonna dismiss the struggle. <laughs> I know, but it's not the same. Like, it's it's nowhere stop. near the same. Y'all wasn't enslaved. Y'all, just, yo, being gay just became cool like a couple years ago, where it's like everybody's just like, oh, everybody's out here now. Now it's like everybody's starting to accept it now because everybody before they was like so immature about it. It was like I think everybody at a point was was immature when it came to like gay people or homosexual people, or whatever. It was just like that we're not accepting. Now it's like. I don't really give a fuck, yo. Live, I ain't, your, I ain't. live your life. I was always trying to understand ever since Tu Wong Fu. <laughs> nah, I'm dead serious. Like, I, I was watching that shit, like, yeah. as a kid, and I was like, yo, what happened to Mario, Luigi, and... <laughs> For real, I was like, yo, <laughs> yo, what happened to Luigi, Ghost, and fucking Nino Brown? Why are they dressing like oh, that? Oh, man. I would ask my mother, like, why, why they... What's going on? I don't get it. I just saw it as a movie. Like, like honestly, <laughs> when I used to see shit like that, I used to just see it as characters because... Yeah, I just watched the movie. Because... I had no thoughts. My grandfather, God rest his soul, right? He grew up. He's he, a different time. He's he's half white, half black, right? And he grew what the up. Fuck you, a mixed breed? What the fuck going on? Yeah, I make my whole family mixed. Like, oh, I mean, know. look at him, nigga. Light as fuck, nigga. <laughs> so my grandfather, half white, half black, right? When it wasn't cool to be a mixed race person, he got like yeah. eight brothers and sisters. So it was like they was getting it in. Yeah. So he grew up in the thirties. Oh yeah, and like you know, the, the way they see things with like race and homosexuality is just way different. So I remember he used to watch Martin all the time, and he used to like, <laughs> like 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 everything he saw that was like gay. He used to call them punks. Yeah, he was like, "Yo, y'all, oh, yeah, yeah, you watching this word. punk boy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the sissy boy on TV." I'm like, "Grandpa, it's a show." Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, dog. Like, just... like now nah, he a punk making chuckles. <laughs> I remember my uh my uncle told me one time. <laughs> That he was gonna go go to the mall and get an earring. Yeah. And my grandfather said, What boy? <laughs> <laughs> you turning punk on me, boy? <laughs> yeah. I was like, dog, he gonna get an earring. earring. Yeah, I remember that used to be a big deal for people. I mm-hmm. mean, it, it matters which ear, because I, I remember I wanted to get one in my right ear. That and you, they was like, and they it was, used to matter. And, and, they, matter. and they was like, yo, that's the gay side. <laughs> yo, that don't even matter anymore. It like, don't it used to matter, but I mean that's funny how that's how that's changed. 
But yeah, that used to matter. Like you had to get yeah. him, you had to get in the right side. You had to get on the on, on the on the left side right, of your yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on your left ear. But it was like I don't know. Now everybody, I, most dudes got both. Ears yeah, got both ears. Oh, yeah, so yeah. what that mean now? Yeah, I don't know. It's a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a different time, and <laughs> we evolve and we grow as a people. Ho- hopefully, your racist friend will see the error in his ways and be like, you know what? I thought it was funny, but it just happened to be a racist joke. I don't. You got to talk to white people, man. Or you can just snuff. Or you can snuff them and, and give them a, give them a reason to be racist. <laughs> give maybe, them a reason to hate some black. Maybe dude. you can do that, dude. What the? So <laughs> I don't condone violence. I was just joking. I mean, nah, don't be just going around hitting people. But yeah, you know, no, sometimes, you, some sometimes you got to do it. Yeah, but nah, we, just we, just not in this case because this is your friend. Yeah, we believe in peace here. Hash does. Oh. <laughs> so um, don't don't move my shit again. You hear me? <laughs>